Skip it up and that up. So I just made a very thorough video discussing Nintendo's trailer for the new Nintendo Switch. That is the name of their upcoming system, which is coming out March of 2017. I was very impressed with the trailer, to be honest with you. I, I really liked what I saw. They really explained the benefits and features of the console. And in my opinion, I guess you could call it an advertisement. It was one of Nintendo's best reveals slash advertisements in a long time. It was very thorough. It was descriptive. Yeah, there were some parts of the video that were ridiculous. When they, Like, for example, when the guys were playing basketball, then they stopped playing basketball to play a basketball game, NBA 2K17, on their Nintendo Switches. Why, why would anyone do that? But... Besides for that, it, it was still a really cool video, and it really made me excited for Nintendo's upcoming console. So I'm really liking the trailer. I'm liking all the features. I like the modular controllers. I like how easy the system seems to, you know, take out of its dock and just take with you on the go. I, I'm liking everything about it. it. It seems like a really cool idea. And it looks like Nintendo is going in the right direction. They took a risk with another very original piece of hardware. But it seems like everything may work out well. And, and what I'm about to complain about doesn't mean doom and gloom for this system. Don't take what I'm about to talk about as me saying, oh, I changed my mind on everything. I hate it. No, that's not true. But it still pisses me off royally that... Nintendo is misleading people and making them think that they have confirmed software for the system that they don't goddamn have. Now, as you were watching the reveal trailer of the Nintendo Switch, there were two games that they revealed from third-party developers that got me really excited. It's not that I'm a huge fan of either game, but I know they're huge AAA titles, and it would be a big draw to the Nintendo Switch if these games were on Nintendo's new system. Those two games were The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, looks like the remastered version, and NBA 2K17. I'm thinking, oh shit, Nintendo's not messing around. They, they said they were going to do this with the Wii U, but now with their reveal trailer for their newest system that's coming in March of 2017, they're showing with this portable home console hybrid thing that they're making that they're going to have those AAA games that people want. That is awesome. I'm sure Nintendo learned their lesson from the Wii U, and these games are confirmed to come out for Nintendo's new system. But of course Nintendo doesn't learn a fucking thing, and these games are not confirmed for the Nintendo Switch. And if you don't believe me, believe the reps from 2K and Bethesda themselves. This is exactly what they had to say. This information comes from IGN. They went around talking to different development companies, asking them what they thought of the Switch, and these are statements from 2K and Bethesda. Let's start off with 2K. What did they have to say about the Switch? We saw NBA 2K17 in the trailer, so obviously the game is confirmed, right? Ah, we're happy to have had the opportunity to collaborate with Nintendo on the trailer. While we are not confirming any specific titles at this time. We are pleased to announce our partnership with Nintendo and support of Nintendo Switch. We look forward to revealing specific details at a later date. So they show this game in the trailer. There's a lot of people who, there's some people out there who only buy sports games. Like they'll buy the, the 2K NBA games once a year. That's all they buy a system for. That may be a system seller to a lot of people. Nintendo, you're showing that fucking game in the trailer and you don't have it confirmed for the system. Brilliant, but it still gets worse. Here is a rep from Bethesda now. Listen to what they have to say. We're happy to have had the opportunity to collaborate with Nintendo on this video. While we are not confirming any specific titles at this time, even though the trailer shows goddamn Elder Scrolls V Skyrim footage in it, we are pleased to announce our partnership with Nintendo and support of the Switch. We look forward to revealing specific games and details in the future. Holy shit, Nintendo, you gotta be kidding me. Nintendo, we've been down this road before with you, with the Wii U. Remember when you revealed the Wii U E3 2011? And you had all these developers come out, like Ken Levine and everybody, they came out and said, oh, this system is a breath of fresh air. Nintendo listened to the hardcore gamers, and you showed this whole sizzler reel of all these games, and there was a decent amount of those games that didn't come out for the console. Remember that? Are we going down the same road again? 
You showed two games. Now, I understand the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. That came out originally in 2011 for the 360 and PS3. But there's a remastered version coming out soon. And that game is beloved by many people. And that game, to a certain demographic of gamers, could be the system seller for the Nintendo Switch. And you're showing this game, okay? And not everyone's like me, okay, who's going to look into it and be like, hmm, I wonder if this game actually is coming to the Nintendo Switch. They're going to see that trailer, be misled by you, and think, man, I am going to get the Nintendo Switch day one, even if the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is not there on day one. I know it's coming because I saw it in the trailer. Or other people, like I said, there's other people, there's gamers out there that only buy sports games, and they'll buy the iterations each year. NBA 2K15, NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17. They only buy those games that may be a system seller for the Switch. And neither of those games are confirmed, yet you're showing them in the goddamn trailer like they are? Again? We're going down this road again, Nintendo? Why are you doing this? Nintendo, I'm going to end this video like this. Really pissed off. You need to cut the bullshit. You need to realize you actually need the third-party support. And you need to go out there and beg for it. You need to make exclusive deals. You need to throw money around. Because as you saw with the Wii U, and as you've seen with other systems, if you don't have the third-party support, your systems fail. And showing trailers of games that aren't confirmed for your upcoming system is not going to help you. You need those games to actually come out for your system so people want to buy your console because they know they will get the games that they want you need to do what you need to do and hopefully the system's powerful enough to get games like red dead redemption 2 on the switch because if you don't i don't care how good your first party games are you're gonna fail and you're gonna fail as a hardware company and you're gonna become a third party developer stop with the hocus pocus stop with the lies stop with the fake bullshit and deliver on your promises jesus christ